everyone, Sophia here from my great challenge.blogspot.com. This is day two of my master bathroom makeover. Okay, so just a quick recap. We are in the master bathroom. I'm doing a big makeover. Nothing uh, related to construction. I'm not ripping walls, anything like this. I'm just basically sprucing up this bathroom, recalking, retiling, repainting, and redecorating, I guess. So let's just look at what I did last week. So if you remember, this is my crusty bathtub. And what I did last week was basically remove all of the water deposit that was here and I recalk this whole area here and the corner right there. Now, a lot of you have wondered how come I just don't remove this all together? And the answer is I can't. Not because I don't know how to do it, but because it would uh, just not be practical. If you look at the way the ceiling is, you see how it's heaved right here? Uh, because we are in the attic. If I was to remove this, the um, rod for the curtain only goes here. So I would have this whole area here that's not covered. Now, could I possibly get one that uh, starts here and just go all across like this and just do one of those seamless uh, glass panels? Yes, I could, but I don't have the budget. So I have to work with what I have. So because I have to work with what I have, I need to be a little bit creative. I'm trying to change the way this bathroom looks. Um, refer down below to the before tour so you can get an idea of what it looks like. I don't want to bore you with this again if you've been following since the beginning. Uh, but you know what my plan is with this. Originally, I told you I was going to paint it a, uh, oh, and by the way, it's antique bronze. That's the color I was looking for. I was going to paint it antique bronze. And you can do that, by the way. You can paint the frame for your uh, shower doors if you have the old one like I do. And then I realized that it was probably going to make it even more prominent. So I've changed my mind and it's going to be white. Everything's going to be bright white in here. So that's the plan. But that's not happening today. For this video, I have two things I want to do. Number one, I finally received the new toilet seat for the toilet. So that's going to get replaced. I've never replaced a toilet seat before. I'm going to assume it's super easy. Um, it's just a matter of unscrewing and rescrewing back on. And then the other thing I want to do in this video is remove along the side remember i did that last time so i'm going to remove the old cock here that's the transparent um silicone it's all yellow and nasty so i'm going to remove all of this and i'm going to redo the caulking here that's it for this video all right so here's the toilet you've seen it before um and the issue if you don't remember is that this is a very old toilet probably from the 60s and the problem here is that the shape that you see here, which is squared off, is no longer in production. They don't make those toilets anymore. So it's super hard to find a proper seat for it. It took me three years, but I finally got it. I went online, I went on Amazon, and I got this one right here, which I received about four days ago. Um, it was actually pretty fast. And this is what they refer to as a odd shape toilet seat so if you are looking for a toilet seat to replace your old one this is it now i've placed it like this and obviously they fit so this is what i'm going to do right now i'm going to uh, go ahead and see how i can uh, replace it and for those of you who don't remember or are new to this video if you don't know why i plan on replacing it well one these are broken right this is the original toilet that came in the house and then the underside it's not grossed out i cleaned it this is whole paint that's been peeling off the uh, uh whatever you call it um i think it's a composite wood of sorts so this is just really really gross and again um this is the one that came with the house and i could not find a replacement so now that i finally got one this is what i'm gonna do right now Okay, so let me see. I think that what happens here is that you got to go all the way under here. You see this? And you got to uh, turn this thing uh, and unscrew it, I guess. And uh, there's another one on the other side right here. So it took me a while to figure this out. But basically, it's not this you remove. It's this right here. You see the little cap thing here. So now it's all gross inside. There's nothing I can do about it. And then here's the other one. So yeah, that's basically what you got to do. So I got to unscrew these right here. Hopefully that will work. Now I know this one, 
I unlocked it at the bottom already so that should be happening fairly fast so for the ladies out there who are trying to figure out how to do this and you don't have anybody to help you out because that's really all I'm doing with my channel you know that I try to do everything on my own only because I need to learn and that's the kind of stuff that I like to do in order to remove this thing um, you see that little lock right here you hold this at the same time you unscrew from the top so you use both hands so I got to take the camera out of the way and uh, um, do this so basically yeah again you hold that little lock here at the bottom and you unscrew it so it gives you the leverage you need to pull the whole screw out of the uh, toilet bowl and be able to remove the entire seat see I'm holding the screw I'm unscrewing it and I'm holding it at the bottom so I can pull the entire um, screw out it's not hard to do it's just a matter of figuring it out okay so here we go here's the first one right here you gotta hold that thing and unscrew at the same time or you can hold the screw and turn that uh, little lock thing if you want to if it's easier for you, you can do that too, which is what I'm doing. The, both techniques work the same. Ultimately, what you want is get the screw out. So see, I'm turning the other one in the opposite direction while holding the main screw with my screwdriver. So here's the part that I just removed. And here's the screw. So now I can remove my toilet seat. Who would have thought it would be so exciting to have a new toilet seat? So now I'm using the... Uh, what is this? Uh, mildew mold and mildew bleach shine thing from Lysol. I'm just gonna let it sit a little bit. I want to remove every residue and you know deposit that I have in there because I really want a clean surface. And this toilet is still in good condition. Um, that's one of the reasons why I was really trying to save it by finding a new seat. It's scratched a little bit at the bottom, but otherwise it flushed beautifully. So maybe one of the things that I want to do. In the future is um, buy another one of those seats and leave it in the garage so that way you know 15 or 20 years from now I need to uh, replace the seat again then I have one because I got lucky this time around that doesn't mean I'm gonna get lucky the next time so now it's just a matter of installing the new seat so the new seat comes with the exact same type of bolt. You get the long screw that goes in and the one that goes at the bottom um, like this. And then they also give you these little gizmo here. And I'm assuming this is just to um, give a little bit of a cushion between the seat and the porcelain. Because if you screw this too hard, you may actually crack your ball. And it just keeps it from shifting left and right. So it's basically like a um, rubber pad thing. Now it has those little grooves. I'm going to assume the little groove goes up. And this is the flat surface that goes right here. Right, so I'm just gonna put those like this. Here's my new seat. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna open this because this is the part. Let's try to protect the nails here. There we go, so I'm going to open this right here and this right here. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and place my seat directly over. And I think this go this way instead. I think that makes more sense. Like that. Alright, just place it over. Yep, perfect. All right, let me put the screws back in. It's not complicated to do. It's just not the uh, easiest position to do it. Okay, so I think I got it. Yep, and here's my new toilet seat. Brand new, excellent. So this is old and busted brand new so happy i'm so happy who'd have thought this would make me so happy so here we go task number one done so now i'm ready to move on to task number two which is to remove the old silicone here um, which i'm assuming is the original one it is all yellowed you can see that i'm going to remove it with this little gizmo here 
um, basically what it does is that you know you press on it and you just push up and the stuff just comes out technically yeah right here hold on see that okay so let me put the camera on the tripod I'll do this I'll give it a little uh, wash and then I'll replace it with bright white caulking see that's the one side and then there's this one right here which you can use to just go ahead and pick up things a little bit when you need to loosen them up a little bit more and then this one you can do grout um, I mean not necessarily grout but you can if you have like um, some caulking in smaller area like this you can use this one to remove it and I gotta tell you this is really hard because it's been there for a long time and while I'm able to remove the one that's on the um, aluminum, I'm having a hard time with the part that's on the uh, ceramic tiles right there. So this is not the greatest way to do it, but there's some areas where I absolutely cannot remove this silicone caulk with the regular gizmo. So I'm just going ahead with a flat screwdriver. I'm doing a 45 degree angle. I don't know if you can see that and I'm just scraping it off like this um, being careful not to damage my tiles because what happens here is that I want to make sure that I have a really really clean angle right here if I leave any kind of silicone in this corner there when I'm putting my new cork it's gonna give me bumps and those bumps later on are gonna literally translate into dirt and mildew and you name it lodging themselves into those little bumps and cracks and that's how your caulking starts to look dirty so i want a really really clean line i am not changing the tiles right here um they may get painted i'm not sure but i still want to have a nice finished job unlike the previous job that was done on this which is really really bad and nasty and gross. Um, I think I've mentioned in an earlier video, I do not like the silicone that's transparent at all. They always yellow. When you do uh, your stairs with it, you can see the light shine through it. It's just, it's, I don't like it. I don't understand what people use or continue to use the transparent one. Um, it's just ugly, it really is. So let me finish this and maybe we can move on. So that's done, um, I removed all of it. And just to let you know, when you think you're done, just go back at it because I can guarantee you, you're gonna find some more. There's, um, the best way to find out is just to put your fingers like this and pass them alongside of your edges. And if you feel bumps, basically it's old coke you weren't able to remove. So you go back and remove it. Now I went with that, um, little thing here and I really went deep into the groove. Sometimes it doesn't necessarily work the best. So what I did was go directly with the uh, flat part of my uh, screwdriver and I removed all of the caulk that was inside those grooves right here because what I want is fill it with the new caulking. So I'm just gonna wash it a little bit. Um, again, this is getting painted the same color than this. So I don't care about the little you know, marks that I made on the side, but you know, even if I didn't paint it, it's still good enough for me. It's better than what it was. So for the caulking, I'm gonna use the gun and I have this thing here that's a silicone 100% um, white. I prefer white, right? Cured sealant uh, is mold and mildew resistant, uh, watertight, won't shrink or crack, 
dirt cleans off easily, blah, 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 lifetime guarantee. So lifetime guarantee, maybe I won't have to ever do that again. So again, I'm gonna just go ahead and cork all of this. And then next week I'll paint this, all right? I'll paint the, uh, um, the whole bathroom probably towards the end, but this is gonna get painted. So I wanna make sure that I have a nice line right here um, that's clean bump free and yeah that's about it so let me get my stuff ready and we're going to caulk the edges of my glass panel what this side right here looks like it's much 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 better so now I gotta do the part here on the top so I gotta do the corner right here and then move all the way up to the next corner So here's the top part. I think I did an okay job. Problem is that because it's bright white, you can really see the contrast of the rest of the tiles, but again, everything's gonna get painted, so you won't see it. I'm just gonna let this dry in the corner. I did a uh, okay job. I'm probably gonna go over it one more time. And since the one I did last week kind of settled, I'm just gonna add one more layer over it in this groove because I still have a groove right here and I wanna get rid of it. I want this to be really, really flush. So I'm gonna add one more layer of coke over this one. So there you have it, I'm done. So that was to this project. I re the whole side right here. It looks much better. You can still see the contrast between the caulking that's brand new and the color of the tiles. But like I said, I don't care, that's getting painted. So I did the toilet and I did this. So I'm very, very happy. I'm moving right along. And the next time you're going to see me in my bathroom, I will be tackling the inside of the bathtub, which pretty much means my doing all of the grout in there, cleaning it up. I'm not redoing the grout, but I'm going to scrub the grout, get rid of all the yellowing and the mold or whatever. And then I have to remove all the caulking and the mildew and the uh, uh, whatever's in there. And um, yeah, remove it and we do all the caulking. So that would be the third video in this series. So that was it for this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like the project. Subscribe if you're new. In particular, if you want to make sure you don't miss the next episode. And I guess I'll see you later. Bye!